And uh, we're back with the uh, next video. As I mentioned, um, I'll be quickly telling, showing, explaining. Climbing through. Yeah. Obliterating, smashing. Uh, not so much obliterating with the queen fight. I did one big mistake. I should have brought a different sniper with me. Uh, eight shots is not gonna counter for the queen fight since it's not about doing damage. Yeah, but if you were a revolver lot, revolver lot, it'd be more than enough. Tuh, <laughs> yeah, I'm, a, I'm not a revolver ocelot. So this is how you basically cheese this entire area. Go straight for the jugular. Destroy the orb, move on. Destroy the orb, move on. Destroy the orb, move on. Ignore the enemies as because the game will just... The game will despawn as you pro progress. I honestly think that was my tactic for most of the game. Uh, once you get into the later chapters. Yeah, because basically. Seriously, the, the, screw killing everything in a room. Well, it depends on how uh, how badly you want the experience. Mm. In general, if there's experience to get, you want it. Yeah. But, Although here, you max level, to... sane mode, best weapons of the game already. I don't need the max points. I don't need the experience. So, uh, yeah. And I made a second mistake. Um, guess who forgot to pick up the ammo down there? Silly, silly. Yeah. So I have one sniper shot, so that was my biggest mistake, even if I brought the wrong sniper. Got the stock up on the ammo. So that leaves me with, uh, the handgun. You can see where this is going. Actually, the handgun isn't bad for this queen fight. As I said, a shotgun spray-like attacks um, can trigger overdive kills because there is a minute chance that a bullet can slip through its uh, teeth and hit its critical point. The sh it's just the shotgun spray type attacks have a larger chance of doing it since it comes with a spray of several attack points. So yeah, still took a good chunk of his health out. See? Bam. <laughs> So, if people were wondering what this, um, those swirly things are, basically it's turning people into twisted and, uh, um, feeding the babbles, meats, or whatever you want to call it. Yeah, doesn't, uh, one of the later enemies do something similar to that? Yeah, he does. Yeah. Oh, the bomb. I was convinced uh, early on when it, 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 it ate a guy, then it get, got health back. But no, it doesn't. Unfortunately, I can't get a good angle on this sucker because it keeps. There you go. See? Right between the teeth. This weapon is excellent for this fight. And it's a bit hit and miss, though. And as you see, it, since I have like. 250 shots, got plenty of ammo. <laughs> but yeah, if you if you can, you want to make this fight easier, bring in handgun with the uh, speed bullets that does a shotgun spray. Or more sniper rifle ammo. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, I wasn't supposed to mention that. Sorry! If you want to uh, make this a little easier, uh, choose the sniper rifle with... I think it's when you get a fully upgraded its clip size, then you get a 24 bullets max, max size. Um, yeah, you've normally got a choice between more ammo in the clip or more ammo in reserve. Yeah. Um, basically, you go for the one with more ammo in reserve. The sniper won't be the best damaging sniper there is, but uh, you've got lots of ammo to compensate. And since this boss fight isn't about dealing damage with weapons, then, uh, yeah. Um, if you also can, and you can time it right, if you know how to use a grenade launcher, well, then a great combo would be, I've seen like a guy speedrun this uh, queen fight on 
insane mode, the queen basically dies instantly with no soldiers ever being turned into twisted or eaten. All he has is the grenade launcher and the, a sniper, and he just obliterates the queen. That's pretty impressive. Oh yeah, yeah, triple baited. Basically, he's like he did a video search where he triple A's everything. Doesn't get hit through any of the videos. Mm. Well, that is damn good. Fortunately, I'm not that good. Then again, if I was if I was that good, it wouldn't be that interesting to watch, now would it? It's yeah, always nice to depends. see suffering and some deaths and some pain here and there. I mean, I like watching people, you know, uh, S rank stuff in Devil May Cry speedruns, just because oh, that's oh yeah, but that's disgustingly the thing is, good. I mean, it's it's interesting to watch, but personally, it it does get a little boring if you know that this person is just gonna breeze through the entire game, and, and you're not gonna go sit there. Okay, is he gonna make it this time? I think it depends on the game in question when you get down to it. Yeah. I, I don't know if it's like... If the game's already short and the person can break, breeze through every level so each video is like... 10 minutes long at most. Then, uh... And this is for the... It, it, I mean, if I speedrun this game on easy... Each... Each video... If I'm not taking my time to do funny stuff and... Be sloppy... Then each video will take me no longer than... 10 minutes, between 5 and 10 minutes because I'm speedrunning. So, and that's is essentially how you get like triple A ranks in this game. So here I'm basically just wasting ammo to chip away the health. Yeah, looks like the bullets are bouncing off or... Uh, something like that. I was just hoping that the, I would get a better vantage point. One more overnight killing. <laughs> Almost there. But uh, yeah. It's really hit and miss with the the spray bullets, but since I can just spam them out. much I can do at this point with me running low on ammo, can't use the overdive the or rather over energy abilities. Uh, what I got is what I have. There For we some go. reason I get lucky. And the babbles no if more. You wanna save Monsini? Head to the abandoned building up ahead. Hyde and the others are currently looking for Monsini's signal. Hint, don't trust Owen. This room can't help us. Just it's funny how you can make it sound, you know, like he's saying, just die. It's quite impressive. <laughs>